subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From the closest ever images of the sun to the blackest fish that are almost invisible in the deepest oceans, on this week's Scientifics, we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, NASA has released the closest pictures ever taken of the sun captured by the Solar Orbiter that was launched in February this year. The spacecraft completed its first close pass of the sun in mid-June when it flew within 48 million miles of the sun with all its 10 instruments turned on to snap the closest pictures of the sun to date. Among the many novel insights from these images are views of mini flares that the scientists are calling campfires. These are millionths of the size of the sun's giant flares that are routinely observed by Earth telescopes. These small flares could be involved in the mysterious heating process that makes corona, the star's outer atmosphere, far hotter than its surface. Back on Earth, global emissions of methane, a potent greenhouse gas, have been driven up to record high levels, which puts the world on track for the worst-case scenario for global heating. Over the last 20 years, the methane gas emissions have risen by more than 50 million tonnes a year. These findings show that more than half of the methane in the atmosphere now comes from human activities. Animal farming, agriculture and landfills account for about two-thirds of the emissions, while the fossil fuel industry makes up the rest. Also this week, a study shows that the recent prolonged Siberia heat wave that lasted from January to June in 2020 would have been almost impossible without the influence of human beings on climate change. Siberia's overall temperatures were more than 5 degrees Celsius above average from January to June. Researchers also found that temperatures were more than 2 degrees Celsius hotter than they would have been if humans would not have influenced the climate by releasing greenhouse gas emissions. Computer simulations show that without human influence, there would be about one degree of global warming. The prolonged heat wave like the one Siberia experienced would have only happened less than once in every 80,000 years without human-induced climate change, making it almost impossible in a climate that had not been warmed by greenhouse gas emissions. Meanwhile, diving into the depths of the ocean where sunlight barely reaches, scientists have discovered one of the blackest materials known, the skin of certain fish. The skin of these ultra-black fish absorb light so efficiently that even in bright light, they appear to be silhouettes with no discernible features. Even surrounded by bioluminescent light, they seem to disappear. In the deep, dark sea, where even the smallest source of light is enough to attract attention, this blackness can improve a fish's odds of survival. Researchers have found how a unique arrangement of pigment-packed granules enables some fish to absorb nearly all of the light that hits their skin. Mimicking this texture could help engineers develop less expensive, flexible and more durable ultra-black materials for use in optical technology such as telescopes and cameras and even for camouflage. Also this week, scientists have discovered bacteria that feed on manganese and use the metal as their source of calories. While such microbes were predicted to exist for over a century, none have been found or described until now. Researchers at Caltech found the bacteria by accident after performing unrelated experiments using light chalk-like form of manganese. They had left a glass jar soiled with the substance for several months. When they returned, the jar was coated with dark material which turned out to be oxidized manganese generated by newfound bacteria that had likely come from the tap water itself. Their research shows that the bacteria can use manganese to convert carbon dioxide into biomass. The findings may further our understanding of how elements like manganese may have shaped evolution on our planet. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.